everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be taking some actor headshots. Now I'm going to be photographing Marek, good friend of mine, I've been photographing for years, really successful actor and as we know that actors need to update their headshots quite frequently. Now today we're going for a completely different look to what we've done before. So we're going to be shooting with a canvas backdrop, trying to get lots of bounce light in the front, nothing too dramatic before we've done the kind of like deep shadows and things like that. This time we're going for the complete opposite. So keep watching, I'll show you how. When Marek contacted me about this session, he had created a mood board which was really helpful. His main focus for this shoot was to really bring out the colour of his eyes. Here I have established an exposure for just the natural daylight. I decided to position Marek right in front of the large windows in the studio so we could use a lot of that natural light. Also, I knew that by placing him in a position where he was looking at a bright light source, the pupil in his eye would become smaller and the colour of the iris would really pop. Next, I added a Profoto XL white umbrella with diffusion panel onto a B10 Plus as my key light to pop a catch light into his eye and eliminate any colour cast that we may have picked up from just the natural light. This is positioned in the centre and angled down towards Marek. The light source is huge compared to the subject, but this is what we wanted to achieve, that very flat lighting for Marek's inspiration board along with the natural fill light. I then wondered, should we add in a reflector? Not to bounce any light really, because the image was already so flat, but to add another catch light into his eye and really make them pop even more. I wasn't so sure if it would add much, but after shooting a test frame, we both decided we liked it, so it stayed. The silver side created that extra catch light that we were looking for. There's always banter on set, and here I've just asked the guy who's built like a tank if he's okay to hold the reflector himself. Next, we went for the same setup, but change of outfit. But something about this color just wasn't really working. A quick change to a different shade of green and suddenly everything looked much better. It just goes to show that it's not just lighting that makes a photo. Outfit choice and background also play a major part here. Next, we moved on to another of Marek's mood board shots, which was to add some rim lights each side. Still with the same flat lighting style in the front, but these rims just add a bit more dimension. Here, I've added two Profoto 1x3 strip boxes and B10s each side. First, a shot of just the rim lights to check the balance and the exposure. Something wasn't quite right for me here, so I made the decision to switch to a white beauty dish instead and ditch the XO umbrella while Marek was changing outfit. For me, the beauty dish just gave that extra bit of punch we needed as I felt the flat lighting of the umbrella just blended into the rim lights and we lost the whole purpose, which was to create some dimension. No reflector this time for the same reason. For our next look, we decided to try something different. We wanted to create some kind of warmth to these shots, so I added a half CTO gel to one of the strip boxes that I was using for the previous image. This was now going to be pointed towards Marek from behind to create a rim light, but I mostly wanted it to hit the background to warm up that blue canvas. Once again, we're also using some of that natural daylight as a fill also. With the background light in place, I now added the key light, which was a Profoto 2x3 softbox with B10+. There is no gel in this key light. I only wanted the warmth to come from the back and I wanted Marek's skin tone to be true to life. I positioned this softbox to my left and went for this modifier to create a bit more dimension rather than having a circular modifier, which may have flooded the scene more.
We both really liked this look, so I decided to shoot two outfits with the same setup. Finally, we just went back to one light to complete the looks for Marek's inspiration board. This was a very simple look, almost a bit 90s inspired. Deep shadows, no feel, higher contrast and in black and white, just arms and a headshot. This wasn't so much of a look for an actor headshot, but just more for Marek's portfolio. Finally, a quick review before I let him go to be sure he's happy with what I've created. Next, for him to send them to his agent for the final selections. So there we have it guys, that's a real job, bringing you on set. Real headshots for Marek, which he's gonna use out there. So hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought in the comments and let us know which one are your favorites.